Divine inspiration. What does that mean to you? And that's exactly what I want to talk to you about today. Your divine inspiration is that moment in time when perhaps you've suddenly woken up and you've had these great ideas. Or perhaps you've been daydreaming and then you've had some great ideas, some spark of creative thought that's come through. Or perhaps you've passed something and it's gone and triggered a memory. And that in itself, when you've had this uh, this thing that perhaps you've dreamt about and you, you've seen something and it, it, the two of them things come together and all of a sudden you have this divine inspirational thought and again you've got this creative thinking and you've got an ability to sort of go forward because you're saying to yourself oh, this is great what great idea I feel really motivated now about this you know the word divine or the words divine inspiration come from the Greek word meaning God to have breathed or God to have breathed into. I don't particularly like using the term God because I don't think in this particular instance it's particularly helpful. When we think about God, what we're actually talking about is perhaps um, congregating in certain types of buildings. It doesn't matter what type of religion you are, we come together and um, <clears throat> you come to pay, pay respect to your particular God. Divine inspiration is connecting to the source within you. The power is within you. Not somewhere that you have to attend to. The power is within you today. And that power within you gives you the ability to make fantastic, better, more structured decisions for you, helping you to really succeed in this life. <clears throat> and what a great resource to have firstly you're going directly to source and it's within you and secondly you're not using your memory and, and I say that because the memories that you have are not, all, are, not, are not always just your own it was Aristotle that said give me a child of seven and I will give you a map and what he was really talking about is that the child and all the influences he have is obviously from his parents, possibly the grandparents as well. And those grandparents have been influenced by their parents. And then there may be his school teachers and they've been influenced by their parents and their grand grandparents. And all of a sudden, all these collective thoughts of the way things, people deal with things, the decisions that they make in life form part of your memory bank the memory bank you use and you go to to make important decisions in your life it's worth noting it was Carl Jung that said and Carl Jung being the Swedish psychologist the quickest way to lose yourself is to believe in a God outside of yourself and connecting to source gives us that ability to connect with inspirational ideas that spark of something that we're not sure where it comes from but we've got a way of manifesting it alternatively we could go back to the data that we've always the, the junk that we've collected in our memory that's been corrupted not just by you but by your parents and your grandparents your friends your relatives and everyone it's a set of corrupted data that you hold and then you then use to influence your decision making and perhaps most importantly when we do that when we use our memory what we're not using is we're not going to our divine our source for divine inspiration you know when I wrote find your flow take the path of mastery what I was really attempting to do was rewire your brain with positive memories of things that you succeeded in overcoming and I thought that was a very important element and I still believe it to be a very important element in creating <clears throat> positive memories in your subconscious mind and th that has strongly influenced me and what I've passed on to, on to my kids so <clears throat> let, let me give you an example of this 
My daughter is now reads music. She's a, a level seven musician. There's only eight, so she reads music and she can play the saxophone. And I know from my experience that in life, we're gonna have troubled times and we're gonna have other times where things just seem to flow, just seem to come to us. But short of those troubled times, I think we need something to hang on to. And I know I had that in the sport that I did. So when things I felt weren't going right, I could go back to something that I felt I was doing fairly well. <clears throat> and it reminded me of how I overcome my problems through resilience, perhaps through practice, certainly through commitment. By using these, I was able to overcome the difficulties I was experiencing at that moment in time. And I know now that my daughter has this ability to play her musical instrument and has overcome her difficulties in learning that, she has rewired her brain and she can use that memory as a successful formula for her as she moves forward. And that was the idea behind find your flow, take the path of mastery, rewiring your brain for positive outcomes. But if you like, what I'm talking to you about today is beyond flow and to divinity. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong, flow is an essential element of your success. It is teaching you to disregard the distractions in life, such as the news media and technology because it's getting you involved in something so you go through those process of practice commitment showing resilience to overcome and then having a positive outcome and feeling the joy of something that you've achieved so flow is a real power powerful stepping stone but the real power was always within you by letting go of your memory the junk within your memory and connecting to your inspirational source. Buddha would, uh, would have described this as enlightenment, being able to connect to the inspirational source. And the only time you can create something new in your life is through an inspirational source. If you think what I'm saying is non-scientific, then you should know that this comes from your memory, your junk data that you have collected. And that the only place you can create something new and inspirational is from the infinitive source. Connecting to your infinitive source allows you to make better, clearer, stronger decisions in your life. And what better guidance could you have? Going to an inspirational source rather than the junk that you've collected within your memory. My workshops that I deliver in person are about letting go of the junk collected within your subconscious mind and connecting to that in, infinitive inspirational source. If you'd like to know more, please do get in contact with me.